we're back down at the farm and we're looking at another field that we're going to plant rape um, not so crucial this one if it doesn't go if we don't get it as ripe uh, what we'll do is just use it as a cover crop so we've got Keefe down here he's with the quad he's with a slug pellet herb. we're just spinning it on top and we're going to see what happens 24th of August we're a little bit later our other field's doing all right we're going to go over there and check that in a minute but we had a bag of seed left we had a bag of seed left, uh, we had three quarters of a bag and it's just the right amount for this field so we thought, you know, we'll just take a punt it's going to rain heavily tonight uh, so we're going to spread it on, it's got the best chance of going it's going on with a slug mix, slug pellet mix to uh, stop the slugs attacking the uh, rape there uh, we'll mix them up and we'll show you what it looks like this is the seed we're using, it's called Elgar I showed you that in the last video, we used the same over in the little test plot that we planted a little bit earlier on. I'll just get a handful and show you what it looks like. That is what it looks like. Tiny little seeds. And we had three quarters of a bag on this. We're not doing it very like completely scientific. We're not going by the grams or the thing. We're just using a third. And I've just simply marked it with a bit of paint there, uh, just uh, roughly where it's gonna be. So we're going to bring the bag down to hit this mark. Chuck a load of slug pellets in as well. We'll put the slug pellets in on top because they're bigger and they uh, not such a pain to mix. And you've got to use gloves because slug pellets are not nice. I've got Keithy with me. Keithy's on the bike just because, well, we all know what I'm like. I'll probably end up head over here. And all right, we're down to there. So let's just start pouring this in. about bang on and we're simply just mixing it by hand wear gloves for this if you're doing this guys because uh, slug pellets is nasty and when Keithy gets back we will refill him what's a good mix to make sure it's all even throughout and he's doing about 35 kilometers an hour and I don't know what the rate is but we're just going to keep going over and over until we run out uh, the farmer did work it out but I have forgotten as per usual here comes Keithy all right right predictions what's going to happen with this field then Nothing. What do you think will happen? It's going to grow, isn't it? Because it's got, got a good rain on it tomorrow. It's going to start off growing. Yeah, probably will. And then what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, uh, beetles will eat it. You think beetles will get it? Even with a perfect year. Perfect sort of starting year. Right, there we go. We will see what happens. But either way, it's going to be a, a good cover crop till spring. Yeah, it'll be all right. Uh, the reason we're not drilling it is we are still at harvest and uh, we've got rain coming tonight so those guys are with the combine and they're, they're going to keep going until it rains. So next job I am going to come out with the rolls. I haven't told farmer but I'm sure it's going to do a job. It'll push all the seed in, just give the seed a better chance of growing. You know, if you're doing it, you've got to do it right. So uh, I'm going to take... It means going home a bit later but I'm going to do it. So we're back over at our little uh, test plot that we planted nice and early with a good uh, nice wet seed bed and look at this got four leaves on it this here I will point to you these are our little rape seeds there's one there's one that's our rape plant and those look brilliant I am really quite chuffed with all these little plants they're plants everywhere brilliant well it's brilliant at the moment we'll see how it goes now what we're looking for is slug damage and beetle damage uh, there is a spray the farmer told me that will control the beetle damage 
and if there is a substantial amount of slug damage we can spread a few more slug pellets on because we didn't put the highest amount on there just in case we did have any issues but every single plant I can see has no damage let's go across this way there's little plants everywhere it's brilliant and there's one plant there with a tiny bit of damage on it but that's nothing on the whole they are pretty good every plant's got four leaves so it's growing anyway which is good that's a good sign and we will have to keep checking this now for slug damage and beetle damage and whenever we see any signs of either we will have to come and spray or throw a bit more slug pellets on to stop the slugs next job is the uh, farmer's going to come with his sprayer and spray off all the voluntary barley there the big the big green stuff there is voluntary barley and uh, we'll spray that off and it won't affect the um, the rapeseed and he'll put a pre-emergent on as well and that will stop any weeds coming up through the soil as the weeks progress and we've got quite a nice test as well because we planted early and we planted a little bit later when we'd normally plant so we will see which field does better and uh, yeah we'll just go from there right I'm gonna go and roll that other field but we will come back when the farmer comes to spray so we're just rolling this field and what we're doing we, uh, we just want to push all those seeds so they got a nice little soil contact between them and that's going to give them the best chance to grow uh, we did the other one we managed to get on the other one it was a little bit tacky when we were on the other one but the conditions are perfect here for rolling so a bit of an effort because there was lots of machines in front of it as you per usual the machine you want is always at the back but uh, we got it done with we hooked them on and you know it's about making the effort and it so uh, those who make the effort get rewarded <laughs> maybe I don't know <laughs> we'll see anyway we'll follow along as this goes I won't open the window because it is super noisy with the rolls and uh, we'll just see how it goes if it doesn't come to anything it's no harm no foul it was going to be spring crops anyway so uh, we'll see how it goes we've got sunset coming down on us and yeah, so we'll catch you on the next video.